Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Ibn Hudu, yes, today again, walking on the beach here in the beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico, talking to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Yes, I'm doing the beach talk again, bam! <laughs> also, a uh, TA video later today, but let's jump into this video again here on this beautiful beach in Playa del Carmen, where I talk to you about some subjects uh, that I read in the news, but also subjects that are on my mind, on my Bitcoin mind. Bam! I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more Bitcoin is a decentralized disruptor, 24-7 usable, borderless, immutable, trustless, unconfiscatable, censorship resistant, peer-to-peer -peer digital cash that will include the excluded into the monetary system. If you like that, then you must watch this video today. Because for many of you guys, Bitcoin is only about creating wealth. And Bitcoin is not only about creating wealth. I need to check if I'm recording. One second. Yes, I am recording. Bitcoin, yes, can be used uh, to generate wealth. You can make huge profits by investing in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is also used to protect your wealth, to hedge your fiat into Bitcoin, because fiat will undergo this huge inflation, and we will see a huge crisis, and Bitcoin won't be bothered that much by that. You can hedge your capital in wealth. That is, of course, uh, what MicroStrategy is doing. That is what PayPal is doing. That is what Mass Mutual is doing. That is what all those billion dollar companies are doing. That is why they are adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. That is also why all those billionaires are buying Bitcoin. They want to protect their wealth. So yes, 80 to 90% of this community is in Bitcoin to generate wealth or to protect wealth. I want to add the third, in my opinion, most important cost to be in Bitcoin. And that is, I need to make these videos now and then so new people keep understanding that Bitcoin is not just about generating wealth. Bitcoin is about way more. It is about life. It is about an unfair monetary system that we are about to disrupt as a huge community, as a huge Bitcoin family. A, a new asset that is 24-7 accessible everywhere on the world. It is borderless. We can send Bitcoins all over the world. There are no borders. There are no restrictions. It's immutable. People can't hack Bitcoin. It is almost not possible to hack thousands of miners at the same time. It's not possible. It's immutable. It is censorship resistant, which means nobody can shut it down. Nobody can stop a transaction. It's not like Twitter where they can block an account or like YouTube where they can block a YouTube YouTuber because of talking about Bitcoin. This one, Bitcoin, is truly censorship resistant. Nobody is able to stop it. These are the fundamentals of Bitcoin. These are very important for you to understand. It is a peer-to-peer -peer cash that it makes it able for everyone in the world to transact and to interact. It is not that we need to ask permission to our bank account. Can we please send 10,000 US dollars to that person on the other side of the world, which then will take four or five days. That is not even a question in Bitcoin. You just send it. That is why they call it peer-to-peer -peer cash. You can send it to somebody else without asking permission. That's why they call it permissionless. These are the fundamentals of Bitcoin. The other very important part of Bitcoin is that we are going to shift wealth. Yes, it's about that we start to share and care. We made a lot of profits and we are now sharing those profits. You saw in the last week's YouTube live with MM Crypto, with Mo, Da Vinci, all of those guys, we raised 500,000 US dollars to share that wealth with the poor people all over the world. 
that is what it is also about redistributing wealth there is so much wealth man they are printing money let us share that wealth with the people that bitcoin is meant for which created for you know it is now possible for me for my dollars to send five dollar with their iphone to their nephew on some kind of beautiful tropical island in the Maluku archipel in Indonesia without any need of a bank account. My nephew in Indonesia, they don't have an address. They just live there in a small village at the beach. They do have these cheap telephones. My daughter can now send him a few bucks with the telephone. That telephone made him have his own bank. That is why we say in Bitcoin, be your own bank. All of these true fundamentals of Bitcoin are very important to understand. It's not just about generating wealth. It's not just about protecting wealth. It's a movement. It's a movement that I like to prefer to call the Bitcoin family. It's a movement where we change the whole monetary system. That's why they call Bitcoin disruptive. <laughs> and then one of the most important part is because if you want to protect your wealth, if you want to make sure nobody takes your wealth, the reason behind Bitcoin for this is that it's because it's unconfiscatable, which means no one can take it from you. If you have a bank account, they can freeze your bank account. They can stop your transaction. They can even make sure that you will never have access anymore to your transaction or even limit your access to the amount of money you can take weekly. Like we saw in Greece, in the Cyprus, in the crisis. People were able to get 60 euro per week from their own money. It's not their own money. All the money that will be on your bank account, you lend that money to the bank. It's the bank's money. It's in the small letters. It's unconfiscatable, guys. Yes, of course, they can put a gun to your head and force you to give up your Bitcoins, but they can also do that with your car. They can also do that with your gold. They can also do that with your Rolex watch. They can also do that with all other valuable stuff that you have. But it's not confiscatable by centralized organizations if you buy the Bitcoins in the right way. <laughs> if you do too much KYC, yeah, it becomes a different story. Maybe they can confiscate it. You know, they can force you because else you will go in prison. But if you do it the right way, beautiful peer-to-peer -peer buying of Bitcoin in a beautiful way, uh, you know, you can use a lot of uh, social media to find people that want to sell Bitcoins. Wait, I will turn around. There are so many people in this world that want to sell their Bitcoins or want to buy Bitcoins. We are a community. We are connecting through social media. It isn't that difficult to find an OTC dealer over the counter and, you know, to transact Bitcoins. You go to your Bitcoin, uh, you go to your ATM, <laughs> you go to your ATM, there you withdraw the cash from your ATM, you take that cash and you do an OTC deal on the beach while you're dripping a Bacardi Coke and you buy your first Bitcoins. Nobody knows you own that Bitcoin. That's non-KYC. Not even difficult, but very easy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a rapper. No. But that is, guys, what Bitcoin is about. And if you want to know more about this whole Bitcoin mindset, then please, please come visit us at the Discord server where you talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life every day. More than 3,500 members at the moment talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and lifestyle. And we want to educate you because that's also a very important, um, that's also very important in the whole Bitcoin community is that we educate each other. We as a community are able to educate each other. We are able to lead by example, like I am leading by example for my kids. You can lead by example for your kids. We can lead by example for all of the kids. That is why I built this school in Tulum. To lead by example for those kids. Yes, to prepare them for the future, not for the past. Educate them on the new monetary system that we as a community are building so that they have access and know how to access that system in the future. And yes, guys, if you invest in Bitcoin now, I would say next year you will be staying in one of these beautiful places on the beach in Playa del Carmen. Because in my opinion, yes, if you get into Bitcoin, don't get out now, buy the dip, because we are not at the end of the bull run. We are maybe at the mid of the bull run, guys. We, we are going to go much higher, higher and higher. So, bam, if you stepped in it for the money, then 
Stay in it. Roddle. This is not the moment to sell. The bicycle, uh, stopping out. <laughs> this is not the end of the bull market, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a dude just on the beach. But if it's up to me, I'm hollering. I'm not even selling a little bit at the moment because I would maybe sell around 80K a little bit to multiply my Bitcoin if we dip back to 60K. That is my strategy. Uh, but do your own research. Bam! I hope this was all a little bit clear, guys. I, if everything was clear, then please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment if it wasn't clear because I would love to educate you. I want to thank you for watching. I want to remember you to always zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day, and that is exactly what life should be about. I'm going to do that today as well. I'm going to go on a boat trip with some Bitcoin friends, another Bitcoin family living here in Bitcoin, Mexico. <laughs> we are going to go on a boat trip to do some snorkeling and enjoy life because it was a hard working week for me as well. I'm doing 24 7 bitcoin lifestyle guys i'm youtubing i'm writing articles i'm advising companies that's all bitcoin for me because i'm passionate about this huge change this huge revolution as a community decentralized this is amazing thanks for watching hopefully see you later in the ta video as well uh, and hopefully see you tomorrow again in another beautiful episode of the bitcoin family in mexico bam